second down and 10. Mark Barsotti has had some magnificent moments here at Fresno State. Does he have one more left? Dumps it out. Nice play. Just a dive out of bounds. The play will lose three yards, but Lorenzo Neal knew it was not going to get much, so he took the free loss and dove out to stop the clock with 103 to play. Yeah, that's a heads up play on the part of Lorenzo Neal. And was watching Mark Ross do the nose tackle over there for Bowling Green. He followed Neal all the way out of bounds. And he is the nose tackle. Good effort. Nervous time, right, coach? You betcha. Waited a long time to be a head coach, Gary Blackney. 21 years. Assistant. What a rookie year he's having. Though. Third down at 13. A lot of time. Michael Ross. Where will they spot the football? He caught it right up there. We're going to get the first down. Look at the spot. 39 yard line. Oh, my. He caught it around there, and then he ducked back to the 42, and they get the spot of the day. Well, First down. Let's get another look at it right here now. He's got to get to that 40. Let's see where he catches, actually catches the football. Whoa. That's yeah. close. That's very, very close. He seemed to be across the 40. Back line. First down. He's trying to get a lot of time. And he throws the ball away. That's a good move there by Barsoni. 43 seconds to play. much of a pass rush coming from Bowling Green. They've had some, some opportunities to put some heat on, but again, now, the reason they're not getting in Barsotti's face is because they're coming basically with a three-man rush, which means they've got eight guys in coverage. Look at the Fresno State starting their own one, 12 plays, 60 yards, and 48 seconds. As we go 99, they've got 43 seconds left. Titus Winans. And he has the first down. They have two timeouts remaining. Down it at the 28-yard line. They are 28 yards away. No timeout. We're gonna no, call they're gonna call timeout. It. They yeah. just called it right here. Timeout. One remaining. With 37 seconds to go, they leave themselves with only one timeout remaining. Interesting decisions there to take it. 37 to play, facing a first down. Yeah, I think they got to take it, though. 37 seconds. Let's get over to the sideline, talk with the coaches. We will uh, get together and call two plays so we can come back and run two and still have two timeouts left. One thing about this drive, Bowling Green could not be happy with the kind of pass rush they're getting on Barsotti. Barsotti broke his leg, his left fibula, eight weeks ago. Certainly not as mobile as he has been. They're not getting any kind of rush on him on this last drive. No, they're not. And that, it, the reason they're not is because of what I said earlier, Greg, they're only coming with three guys. When you come with three guys, you got the big five, five on three. That should handle it. You're dropping eight guys into the secondary for pass coverage, so you're not going to get much of a pass rush. So that secondary sure, surely had better do a good job. Well, Villapiano telling Steve Wilburn to get back in the game. Get yeah. your hands up. Bat one down. Villapiano looking for a helmet and some shoulder pads. He wants to get out there right now. Looks in pretty good shape. Yeah, he does. 28-21. Fresno State down a touch. First and ten. A little better pressure here. He gets out of bounds. Nice play by Barsotti. Picks up eight yards and stops the clock. 30 seconds to go. Heads up play by Barsotti, a guy who has the feel for everything that's going on around him, how much yards he needs, how much time is on the clock, what he should do if he's got a scramble, can't put the ball up, get out of bounds. Very, very heady player. He has had a magnificent day. 22 playing. of 30 passing. We'll be playing the Hula Bowl in the, in the blue red game also. They run at Lorenzo Neal. Turns it back inside. They only have one timeout remaining. They've got the first down. Now they'll stop the clock to move the change. 24 seconds to go. One timeout left. The first and goal is upon us from the nine-yard line. Yeah, I think they just called their second timeout because I had them with two left. Ooh. No, that well, was their, their third. Last timeout. That they, was their last timeout. This timeout right here. 
is very strange to call it here. You want to keep at least one timeout in case your quarterback gets sacked. Sacked. They are facing Jack. First and goal. Right. They could have ground the ball. Right. Just stopped the clock. That saved the timeout. And really, you know, the chains were not yet in position. So they could have snapped the ball, run a play, and not lost more than uh, three or four seconds. Exactly. Why would they call a timeout there? I don't know. I don't I, I, I don't understand it either. I would think they'd try to get one play off and, and, and keep that timeout until they get down to about that 10 second, 8 second mark and then call that baby. But uh, what must have happened was that they were not prepared to call the play. Probably there was not. going to be some indecision, so they just called the timeout. Now, if they can sack Barsoni, it's going to make it very difficult. They have no timeouts right now. Although I will say this, if you, if you have some indecision and you're not sure, you're better off to call the timeout with 24 seconds to go than let it run down to 15 seconds before you can finally your coaches will be yelling at you to call that timeout. Jack, the, the score of the 1982 Raisin Bowl between these two schools. Uh -oh. 29 to 28. Fresno State come, came back from a 21 down. They were down two scores today throughout. If Fresno State scores this touchdown and uh, elects to go for two for the win, well, you figure it out. It'll be 29 28, wouldn't it? <laughs> Here's Lorenzo Neal. Get out of bounds, Lorenzo Neal. He does, and he takes it down. He's out at the three-yard line. When you get down here, you hammer, hammer, hammer. You can say, well, what do you think? You're going to try and take three shots up the gut? You could do that, but again, as crafty as Barsotti is, you may see him escape on a little bit of a rollout. Again, a key guy in this situation, the tight end, Marty Thompson. Can you run the ball up the, up the middle of the field? No, you have to run it wide. If got, you get tackled, you're not going to be time. got 19 seconds. You can get three plays off. But again, remember, no timeouts. I'm saying what you would think you would do when you got down here would just pound it up inside. But let's see what happens. Three wide receivers. Marsotti. It is deflected and incomplete. 12 seconds to go. It is now third down. Terry Wilson on the coverage. Marsotti scrambling, looking for Anthony Daigle coming out of the backfield. Close, very close. Just could not connect with him. They have picked up. 96 yards, but they needed 99 yards. 99. <laughs> Mark Barsotti has devoted Fresno State's most valuable player of this California Raisin Bowl. Take a guess who won it for Bowling Green. Oh, that kid you watched just a minute of the game, you know. That, that kid, old number 84 for the Bowling Green Falcons. Mark Slaychek. Slaychek. There it is. He's going to bootleg it. Now he's going to throw it. A lot of time is it being expired. It's tipped. Three seconds to go. <laughs> it's fourth down. Look at 30. Look at Vince Balco. Does he love this? Yes, sir. He's loving this. And I'll tell you who he wanted to go to. He wanted to go Z80. He wanted to go to Thompson. But great coverage by Terry Wilson. And again, a super job on the part of the outside backer, DJ Ogilvy. Excellent job by Ogilvy. And in comes Balco. What a ball game. What a finish. This is absolutely... Right what a here. drive. What Three a drive. seconds to go. Fourth and goal. There's Palco. Now, remember, Palco was a guy that was a scout team player last year for Bowling Green. Here he is now battling for the California Bowl Championship. This is it. Fresno State's last play ever in the Big West Conference. He gets stacked. He got rid of it. It won't matter. It's over. Bowling Green has won the football game. Kevin O'Brien, what a job by Kevin O'Brien, the outside linebacker coming in to put the clamps. Mark Barsotti, who had won 35 football games as Fresno State starting quarterback, does not win his 36th. And Blackney and Sweeney hug at midfield the respect they have for each other. And look at Bowling Green. They have atoned. They came here in 85 and got blasted 51 to 7. They were beaten in a heartbreaker in 82, 29 to 28, both times for Fresno State. And they come back today in 1991 and complete a miraculous first year for Gary Blackney. It is 28-21. Bowling Green wins the 91 California Raisin Bowl.